Well, our next guest takes readers through her long, difficult, and very personal journey in her book, Treasured Chess. After a scary experience, she underwent an explant and now is hoping to empower and educate women on the possible risks attached with breast implants. So we have Andy Lou joining us now to share her story. So welcome back to the show. How are you? Thank you so much, Java. Yes, yeah, since I last was here, yeah. I actually am now free to be me and I've really shed the toxic implant bags that they are and how poignant to have me on during National Breast Cancer Awareness Month yeah. because there are these new breast cancers that are in the surrounding scar tissue around the outside of the implant bags called squamous cell carcinoma and anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Mm. So the new type of explant surgery that's now happening is not just the removal of the implant bags, but also that scar tissue called total capsulectomy. And it's really important to get those sent off to be tested. And sure. Lucky when I removed mine, I was all clear. However, breast implant illness in itself is a traumatic disease that millions of women across the world are suffering from. So let's talk about your personal journey. When did you know something was askew? 100%. I knew kind of, you know, from day dot. I kept talking about something that I felt on the left side. Mm -hmm. um, I later found out that it was a fold. And it's interesting to note this because that fold becomes a weak point. And so mm. when they're looking for a rupture, in my case, I had an undetected rupture. They're traditionally, in the implant? Yeah, they're wow. looking for a hole, a traditional hole, but a yeah. rupture can actually be a silicon gel bleed. Mm. Now, even if you don't have silicon, the saline can turn into mould. So there's lots of health issues that are coming through and all of these women are starting to join the dots. And who wrote the foreword was the person who did the surgery and Professor Diva is very committed to actually listening to us because we are the science, we are the proof. Mm, okay, so you underwent a lot of testing, you went to see a lot of doctors and no one could really see what was going on, right? Sadly, I was dying to be well for about a year and a half. I wasn't triaged because of the undetected rupture where that mm. fold was the weak point. Even an MRI didn't pick it up. Wow. So it's really important to remember us women do have women's intuition. And, you know, when I woke up from the surgery, you know, he said, you know, you were right, you're better than an MRI. Mm. And so this was giving me horrific symptoms of hair loss, dry eyes, anxiety, feelings of death. My body was actually slowly shutting down. The natural detoxification pathways weren't working anymore. So the gallbladder, the liver, the kidneys were all sort of banking up with these heavy metal toxins. Wow, so now you are doing well? Yeah, it's a long journey. And that's yeah. why I wanted to empower others in yeah. this story of the forgotten women like myself whose stories get swept under the rug, but also as a wellness expert that can guide you through and take you back home to yourself yeah. in your organic state with a detoxification process because there is a lot of detoxing that needs to go on. Okay, so you decided to put all of this information into a book, which is right there, Treasure Chest. What are some of the things that you share in addition to your story in this book? What are some other things you've learned through this process? Like who's really in control? How did we even get here? Mm. Where did the whole culture begin? And that production line, if you like, I call it upselling of secondary surgeries. Would you like fries with that? Mm. Because, you know, a lot of surgeons are saying that you're going to look saggy. And I started thinking, what's wrong with sag? Like, mm. where did, how did we get here? Yeah. You know, that's, that's beauty. And we carry our scars so well. And there's so much more to women because behind our chests is our hearts. Yeah. And it is uh, a big topic for a lot of those ladies. They carry a lot of shame of why they even did it in the first place. And, mm. you know, there's a big healing journey that needs to to go on. I also have contributions from my diagnosing doctor and other ladies stories because half the healing is in the hearing. For sure. You uh, went back home to Australia. You were on uh, today there in Australia sharing your story. What's been the response from people uh, back back home for you here in the States? What are you hearing from people? I'm really so glad that you asked Java yeah. because that is what moved me to write this book. I was just inundated with messages mm. in my Instagram on a daily basis with people saying no, please okay. help me I'm, yeah. I'm dying yeah sorry I didn't know that would happen it's okay and I really just wanted to be there for them yeah yeah a lot of women can't afford the fourteen thousand dollar mm. surgery that you know the the health insurance doesn't give back and yeah. and so I, I you know I feel a huge responsibility for others. Yeah. Well, thank you for being brave enough to share your story. Thanks for sharing it here. <laughs> yeah. 
We appreciate it. Yeah, okay? it was beautiful to do it with you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, darling. I'm glad you're well. And it's on Amazon. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, you can get details on this book if you're interested about reading uh, by going to her website, which is andylou.com. It's listed there on your screen. And again, her book, Treasured Chess, available on Amazon. She also has a podcast you can stream as well. Go on her website to learn more about that.